and broadcasters have been charged to ensure that they comply with the rules as set out in the National Broadcasting Code by upholding when disseminating information. This charge was made during a webinar organized by the West Africa Broadcast Media Academy. Our correspondent, Jacinta Obuku, has more. The webinar titled Understanding the Broadcasting Code stresses the need for broadcasters to be responsible for their content and comply with all laws and regulations, including those relating to fake news and hate speech. As a broadcaster, you are supposed to, you're not supposed to express your own opinions because you're helping people form their opinions on an issue. That means you expose them to the different views, expose them to different knowledge available on the subject, expose them to all there is to know. Because in broadcasting, we educate and we form. So by reason of this exposure, you afford them, they're able to form their own opinions and form their right judgments. But when we impose our opinions, we're not being professional. They also highlighted some challenges bedeviling the industry, especially as regards standards. You are supposed to lock all your programs. At the end of your broadcast, do you do your login? Do we lock? Yeah. Well, not all of us do. Are your logs accurate? Sometimes we visit stations. I will find out that <laughs> you could visit in May. And the station will not have locked since February. They say, ah, sometimes they say, ah, we just finished and we're in a hurry to leave. We had to do something, we had to do that, and we're in a hurry, we forgot to lock. So it's a requirement of the post that you lock. Why do you lock? There are issues that could arise from your post. And your lawyer would have said, on this day, I had Mr. Jakarta as my guest. We have observed the standards are dropping. We see that we notice we monitor it. The code is set out in terms of principles, meanings, and rules. And for sections 7, fairness, and 8, privacy, also include a set of practices to be followed by broadcasters. Jacinta Obuku reporting for Plus TV Africa. Thanks to Jacinta Obuku for that report. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.